Hi, my name is Fazia Khan. I am a visual artist of Pakistani ethnic background and an immigrant to the United States. So I was born in Nigeria to Pakistani parents. And at the time, Nigeria was under British rule. And then there was, um, then they got their independence. And then there were, I think, four military coups while we were there. Um, and then we left there when I was 12 and came to the United States. So I moved countries with the very different cultures. I grew up, both countries were not my culture. Um, I grew up Muslim. And so every time we moved or went somewhere new, I had to readapt to, to the place that I was coming to. So I started as an OBGYN, that was my first profession, and I was practicing in Seattle when my daughter was born. And after my daughter was born, I realized that I was very unhappy going back to work. And my husband and I had a conversation and he basically said, you don't have to work if you don't want to. So I took time off. At first it was a year and then it was, I'm not going back. Um, and I was a stay-at-home mom and then after about a year I thought I need to think about what I'm going to do going forward so I went to career counseling and in career counseling um, I took a test a strong inventory um, and it showed that I was equally structured and creative and so they said to me that the jobs that would work for you might be architecture or graphic design um, or being an arts administrator. And so we moved then from Seattle to Fargo and I decided to go to Moorhead State and look into that more. And ended up actually, even though I thought I was going to do graphic design, I loved sculpture. And so I decided I was going to pursue sculpture, um, which was a great experience there. Before I could graduate, my husband changed jobs and we moved to Minneapolis, so I transferred to BU. Um, and I had to do another two years, and so I decided to get a BFA instead of a BA. I think that people don't realize how much art is involved in medicine. And, um, you know, we talk about the art of medicine which is really talking to people, and then problem solving. Medicine is problem solving. Somebody comes in and, and uh, sees you and they have an issue and then you try to figure out what's causing that and how to fix it. And art is problem solving as well. It really came out of this, me having been a physician and then becoming a stay-at-home mom. And this feeling that somehow I was less than I was because I wasn't bringing home a paycheck. And, um, you know, you meet people and they, what do you do? And when you say you're a doctor, there's a certain uh, way that people see you. And when you say you're a stay-at-home mom, there's a different way people see you. And uh, just seeing the difference in those and feeling myself like, well, am I not as good as I was? Um, also, I'm not getting paid for being a stay-at-home mom, even though I'm working hard. And it made me start thinking about all the things that women do that they don't get paid for, but that keep society running. So a lot of times women are the ones who take care of their elderly parents or even their husband's elderly parents. They're the ones who do the majority of the childcare, the cleaning, the cooking, and none of that is paid work. But if you're gonna have a family, somebody has to do it. And so that was one thing I was thinking about. And the second thing I was thinking about is Afghanistan and the way women are treated there and the ones who are um, have to cover themselves and wear burqas and be essentially invisible. And wearing a burqa makes you invisible, it makes you anonymous, 
Um, like you're not even there and you're not an equal human being to the man standing next to you who's not covered up. And so that's where the concept for the work came from. And then I photographed them. I cropped them and the, the photos and embroidered those images onto dish towels, which are flower sack dish towels that you would have found almost every household, say, in the 1940s in Minnesota. Music. And the reason I did just the eyes, a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it's a reference to the burqa, to be covered up, where only the eyes are visible. But number two, the same, the eyes are the windows to the soul. And I have other works I've done about just eyes. And I wanted, when a viewer walked into the room, to see all these women looking at them so that the viewer becomes the viewed. And these eyes sort of say, 